Hi, Assalamualaikum. I'm Noreen and today I'm going to demonstrate about the crystallization process in the form of rock candy. So what is crystallization? Crystallization is a process where solid particles are formed from homogeneous phase. In our case, the homogeneous phase is the supersaturated sugar solution. It occurs in ice formation, solid particles formation from liquid melts, snowflakes formation, formation of solid crystals from liquid solution, which is commercialized and the example of this experiment. Now, let's move on to the experiment. Materials and apparatus that we need are 2 cup of crushed sugar, half cup of water, food coloring, a clear glass container, sticks or chopsticks, and don't forget the pot or the pan. The procedures and mechanism. Pour the sugar into the pot. Next, pour the water into the pot. Heat the mixture until the sugar is dissolved. Boil the mixture until it becomes super saturated or thickens. And then turn off the heat source and let the solution cool. Mechanism The super saturated sugar solution was cooled and this is when it will reach a phase where the solute concentration, which is the sugar, becomes greater than its solubility at that temperature. Next, coat the stick with a little bit of the solution or mixture. And coat the stick again in some coarse sugar. The stick was coated in coarse sugar to act as a nucleation point where the crystal first appear. Next, place the stick in a container. Add food coloring of your choices, which is mine is blue. Pour the colored solution into the prepared container. And now we're going to wait and let the crystallization process begin. After cooling, then the solute, which is the sugar, comes out of the solution, which is the mixture of water and sugar, forming crystals of approximately pure solute, which is the sugar. And here is the final result! The growth of the crystal may vary depending on various factors such as temperature, type of solution, pressure, and others. So, the advantages of crystallization process are High purification can be obtained in a single step It produces a solid phase that's suitable for direct packaging It operates at lower temperature and lower energy requirements and it was economically friendly. The disadvantages are it purifies only one component, the yield is limited by phase equilibria, and the process kinetics are complex and can be quite difficult to understood well. As for the conclusion, crystallization is one of the process that can be used to separate one component from another. It is widely used in the industrial process due to the fact that the process could separate and purify a component at the same time. We have reached the end of the video and I'd like to thank my lecturer, Madam Rafika Raslan, in her guidance in the making of this video. That's all and I hope you find this video useful 
and thank you for watching